The Books You Won't Put Down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The Books Can't Stay on the Shelf. Grab the series The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy run. He'll be kicking it off at Vinnie Brand's Stress Factory Comedy Club. Caroline's on Broadway. Punchline Philly. You don't want to miss him take the stage at the DC Improv. Then he'll be coming to the Atlanta Improv. And at Chocolate Sunday's Comedy Show in Los Angeles, California. Promote your brand here at Vile Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. That's the rules that people live by. I'm from I'm from a place, man, where we about honor. We ain't finna tongue wrestle with you or nothing. When we see you, when we see you, we're gonna address it. If you have anything stepping past that, then we address it like however you choose. But with 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 me, the difference is that's not reserved for black people. That's reserved for all people. Mm. All people. It's reserved for every single person. If I ever had any situation with anybody of any other ethnic group, I've always brought it to them. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna do this to you. No, 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 no. You I'm asking for a boxing match with you. I'ma come and knock your fucking teeth out. Mm. That is two different, two different entities in this thing i have no desire to be diplomatic with certain with other people i don't and when and 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 it depends on the person because i you know i have a lot of and i I hate even saying it like this i have a lot of friends and different that's from different ethnic groups you know i I get along with a lot of people and i get along with most of the people who have a lot of honor and respect about themselves I don't get I don't get along with goofy ass people. Mm. So I, I don't ever want nobody to think, oh Ali ain't got no white friends. Man, I got some white friends that whoop your ass, that whoop your, <laughs> that whoop your ass too easily. They whoop your ass for saying I ain't got no white friends. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but and I got friends of every ethnic group, and I'm and I'm and I'm cool with everybody. But they know they know where um where I stand. When it comes to slick shit, like you can't be one of my ethnic friends of another ethnic background, and you ever say anything derogatory, you say nigga if you want to. Go mm. ahead. I don't give a fuck that you Puerto Rican, you Dominican, you Indian, you any of that shit. You you rap. I, you, say nigga. Just, just say it. Just, <laughs> just, 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 say it. I don't give a fuck that you invented it, white boy. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke shit at you, but <laughs> I don't get I don't give I don't give other ethnic groups in passes because I can't explain that shit to my grandmother. Yeah. There was there was no there was no other people in the field with us. All that shit, I'm black too, and I I'm no 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 nigga. You name all the goddamn Peruvians that was in the field with, with your grandmother. Mm. I mean, well, nobody. I mean, now nah, you you got some Seminoles that, and 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 you find out that the five Indian families had slaves, and and had to be and had to include black people, or they were gonna lose their government funding. That's the five. That's the five tribes. If people want to go look that up and read the history on the five tribes. Wow. Deep, deep. Yeah, we all got Cherokee in our family, anyway. <laughs> 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 We definitely appreciate your time, Ali Sadiq, on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Got your new comedy special, Domino Effect, yeah. out on your YouTube platform right now. Go check that out if you haven't checked that out already. Definitely appreciate all your power, your wisdom, brother. Can't wait to have you back on. Before we get up out of here, though, man, drop your social media handles. I just dropped a comedy special. Do it again if you want. The floor is yours. Man, did y'all see the special? Because, you know, when people, I don't, you know, I, I don't ever want you to do that because somebody, somebody asked you about it. Because somebody else act like they saw they saw the trailer, and then people say and people like, well, I don't think he saw it, so because it's 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 too it's too hard not to mention parts that that had you fucking dying. No, that shit was funny as hell. I was watching it earlier. That shit's funny. 
Tink Tink the Sissy. That shit had me down. That's why I thought you got in trouble with HBO. <laughs> you say this is the 80s. You know what I'm saying? We all, and that's a fact. Like, that's how we did shit in the 80s. Now, we was born in the 80s, but that's a fucking fact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your dad wasn't shit. That shit was funny hell when he left you at the crib by yourself. And he's like, what the fuck? And they had you selling fucking cocaine. That shit was funny, bro. So, the, the, that's my, that's, man, that's, I love that part because that's Tink is my fucking favorite. <laughs> Part of the whole thing, man. I've never forget I ran to this thing. This thing, and I described <laughs> it to a T. This thing had on leg warmers, <laughs> soft ass Reebok. This nigga had a thriller shirt on. That motherfucker was a hot time. I said, man, this thing a wild one. <laughs> but we had the Carl Lewis shorts on. That nigga think was wild, man. The Coco the cap on curl. Hey, man, look, domino effect. If you haven't seen it, man, um, I don't know what you're waiting on. Maybe you try to get you some time. Get you a glass of wine and some popcorn and some friends, man. It's on YouTube, man. It's a solid, solid. I'm saying, I, I'm and I'm giving this a lot of uh, a lot of uh, um thought when I say this. I would put it in me being a comedy connoisseur. I'm putting it in the top ten of, of all, all of, of all time. Shit, Woo. top ten of all time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anybody that would that watch that would disagree with that because it's too thought provoking, it's too funny, and it's an hour and twenty one minutes, and it got an alternate ending. That's how cold the shit is. So, and I and I'm top ten. It's like Raw, Live from Sunset Strip, Sinbad Special, George Carlin, um, shit, Dan Sober, Son of Gary. That was dope. Was dope. Then you gotta put me in there. Cat Williams. And, then, and you got Cat. Cat okay. got one. Okay. Uh, Kevin got one. Yeah. Yeah. Chappelle, Chris. You gotta put my yeah. shit up there. You got my. I'm I'm in yeah. front of a lot of these niggas. I will say this is the best one that came out this year, in my opinion, than anybody that came out, and that's easily said. And a lot. I love the fact that you you started out just sitting down. And you're so monotone. And you chill. You're telling the story. And then as it evolves, you just laugh and laugh even more. But you're so intrigued into the story. And I think that's the power of comedy. When you can get somebody not only into the story, but making them laugh at the same time. And you do it better than most, brother. I, I got to salute you on that. I sure appreciate it, man. You know, that's big coming out of Jersey because y'all don't like a goddamn <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm talking about if you talk about the stress factory in New Brunswick, um, if every every. So I've ever done in Jersey. These niggas come in here with they fist balled up. Like, can I get your ticket money out here? Nigga, nigga, nigga all that drinks like this. What you want? I want to hear this seat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with this nigga, man? Like, boy, y'all niggas need hugs, man. It's y'all every day it needs to be somebody standing outside your house, nigga, with some big titties and hugs. All the shit, man. Like, like, yeah, man, what is wrong with you, niggas? Is it in the water? Yo. <laughs> I remember I used to I used to come to Jersey. I was dating I was dating this lady. Um, this is when I first I was the first cat in the whole South that had the Galaxy the Galaxy um T-shirts, the thick neck joints. And I was because I was she was shipping them down from Jersey. These niggas like man, why this ain't the same from foot action? Yeah, nigga, this is a real joint. My shit, my shit, two years old, nigga. The collar still, I still gotta pop my head like I'm burnt, getting burnt. Nigga. The Galaxy was crazy, so. I'm in um I'm in Irvington and I'm getting ready to go. And she she's like, nah, you got to stay. I'm like, I showed her, I told you I got things to do. I got somewhere to be. And he's like, nah, you gotta stay. I'm like, why, what's up? She said, it's dark, man. It's dark. <laughs> you ain't from around here, it's dark. I mean, man, I, man, I'm, like, I'm, I'm from the hood, nigga. I'm 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 a street nigga. I'll I'll be out here. <laughs> I ain't tripping. So nigga, I'm 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 nigga who be in like fucking uh Germantown and Philly, nigga. I be I look I know in my mind if I could be in um what's my what's my place that I but my niggas won't even come to a show when I come there um Camden if mm -hmm. I can be if I could look yeah. look y'all don't even said look y'all start mm -hmm. rumbling <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> if, I, if I could be kicking it out in Camden right nigga I'm good I'm good out here man I got down to to the the thing I saw all the niggas out there. I came back up there. I said, "You know something? It is dark. It is dark. <laughs> it is dark. I'm gonna go on, take my shoes off and go on, relax for the night. I need to. I need to be able to see all these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> and Jersey got so much love, but man, you know, my man Bill Bellamy from church from Jersey, you know, mm -hmm. one of my you know, Whitney Houston, I love that girl to death, but boy, god damn. <laughs> hey man, y'all need man, listen. I don't, I don't know if y'all need some some lattes out there or something. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas, niggas is rugged, man. So if you if you say it's funny, I man, I, I'm gonna take that compliment with all the love and that that a Jersey nigga can possibly because Jersey <laughs> niggas even hug a nigga hard. So you nigga, you nigga, <laughs> yeah. you, you just beat me in the back, nigga. Try something. <laughs> What's wrong with you niggas, man? I love y'all niggas, man. Y'all, I love Jersey, man. Y'all, look, I'm coming out there, nigga, with with a bag of hugs, nigga. Y'all, I love. <laughs> Hey man, appreciate y'all for even bringing me on y'all platform, man. That that is a lot of respect and honor because you don't have to share your platform with anyone. And I thank you for um allowing me to come on, brother, and, and share my thoughts and and be open and honest.